from striking for equality and justice. Sick pay, maternity, paternity, adoption pay, pension. That's what we are out here striking for. When we seek, we cannot afford to go to the GP because when we lose that day pay, we cannot pay our rent easily, buy bus pass and take care of some of our families. One building they gave me, I go into a lift in that building and I fell down and I hurt my knee. They send me even to hospital. They send me to hospital. See the knee then? They send me to hospital. Yeah. They send me to hospital with the knee and eventually when I send in my doctor report and thing, they don't give me nothing. They just look at it that all the paperwork is up to scratch. That's what they tell the lawyer, that all the paperwork is up to scratch. So I don't get anything. We have one sick at home for more than eight months. They don't even ask about him. It's like all they're doing, you're sick, you die. They're just taking somebody else. And that is wrong. They're supposed to look at it that these people working with us, we must consider them just as much as how we consider ourselves. But they are not doing that. The cleaners have been outsourced for decades at the LSE and they have never been unionised before. UBW, when they joined UBW, when they got organised with UBW, that was the first time that the cleaners had been unionised. The cleaners asked for basic parity and equality over eight months ago. They slammed the door in their face, they refused to talk to them, refused to negotiate, refused to even commit to their, the very idea of the cleaners having the same basic terms and conditions of employment as everyone else. The company is cheating us out of everything. We're supposed to get all uniform allowance, we're supposed to get travelling allowance and all those things. They're cheating us out of it for years. LSE gave the contract to Noonan. But it's like Noonan don't have a say. As far as it goes, it's just LSE. You understand? It's not Noonan LSE, it's just LSE. I'm here for 16 years. We were 25 supervisors when they take me on. Then they cut it down to 20. Then they cut it back to 18. Then they cut it back now to 13. So 13 of us been doing 25 people's job. This dispute started from the LSE tree. They suck five. They take back two and, and put out three of LSE staff. Because they said they were cheating and the hours, they go home before time. But it wasn't like that. All through just a couple of weeks actually, they did get reinstated. Um very quickly and um, some of their back payments met as well um, from when they'd been fired um, and that was sort of the start of the unionisation of the cleaners here. strikes began back in March, there have been some pretty major concessions made. The LSE has offered up to three months full pay sick pay and three months half pay sick pay. That offer is still only half of what everyone else gets. The cleaners at SOAS have shown that actually cleaners can win. Given the support of their union, given the backing of the general community, which is quite easy to get given the inequality is unjustifiable. We are so grateful for the support that we're getting from the students and from other universities. Students have been getting in contact with musicians, with speakers, with other groups, organising banner drops, like organising the food, the breakfast. University like the LSE, which is stuffed full of money, you know, it's far wealthier than some of the other institutions that have conceded in this area, can easily uh, give these cleaners the equality and dignity that they both deserve and are actually fighting for, most importantly. We have an example at the Dress Coast campaign at the University of London, where we have won uh, major conditions uh, uh, in terms of sick pay, holidays, and, uh, you know, the living wage as well. So these campaigns are winnable. We have shown that it's possible, especially when the workers are united and when the union is backing the workers. Now they are trying to fight against us by saying they don't recognize our union. They say Unison is the one who is going to negotiate, but Unison is not doing anything for the cleaners. It's a matter of some of the other unions inside the LSE getting behind them, getting off the silly, you know, the high horse in terms of saying that the UPW is not a recognized trade union, recognizing the cleaners have made the choice as to what union they belong to, and that actually not that union is leading this struggle and they should be back to it.
focus up to our ear, we are going to continually strike until we get what we want. They have us down under their feet too long. It's for us now to stand up for workers' rights. It's out there, and there's nothing for them to do but give us what is right for all workers, all workers. Oh, to the cleaners! Oh, to the cleaners.